My name is Daniel Gonzalez, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Robotics Research Center at West Point. I'm here to present work conducted with Professor Harry Asada at the Diarbalov Laboratory at MIT. What had me curious was how a human and robot that are coupled together, like this guy you see here walking with the robotic backpack, how can they achieve steady locomotion using only passive physical connections? If you design this connection carefully, the human and the robot will naturally fall into a very special gait cycle. Let me tell you why we built this device in the first place. This is Jim Key, a nuclear decommissioning and cleanup contractor for the U.S. Department of Energy. I was shocked to learn that the average age of these workers was around 50 years old. They'd frequently suffer from repetitive strain and other back injuries while wearing their heavy personal protective equipment. The limited air they carry on their back and the potential for heat fatigue in their hot and humid work environments limit the amount of time that they can stay at a task location. Being able to carry a cooling system and some extra air with them would make their job much easier, but it would be too heavy without some kind of augmentation. This is why we built the extra robotic leg system. It's essentially a backpack with a pair of articulated robotic legs that walks with the human operator while bearing the equipment payload. But in order to achieve stable walking with the human operator, the locomotion strategy should return to a desired footstep pattern when perturbed. This is difficult, however, because the robot cannot control the human directly, and vice versa. But we can get these two halves to synchronize naturally, without control, using a very special gait cycle found in nature. In this gait cycle, the rear leg footfalls lead the front leg footfalls in such a way that the front and rear halves are synchronized, but 25% out of phase. Of the six possible four-beat footfall patterns achievable by quadrupeds, this gait cycle maximizes the center of mass margin from the edge of the support polygon. Four-beat walking exhibits minimum energy losses, leading to the fastest steady-state passive walking speeds. What is perhaps most intriguing about this gait cycle is that the front and rear halves of a quadruped exhibit the same energetics as two bipeds walking 25% out of phase. If the human XRL system can be designed to passively synchronize to this special gait cycle, we can supplement this already natural stability with feedback control to achieve additional robustness. To understand our dynamic model for this two biped system, we must first understand the canonical rimless wheel. This passive model captures the natural dynamics of bipedal walking using only gravity to inject energy into the system. It's essentially an inverted pendulum on a sloped surface. We provide a constant angle of forward lean when the wheel takes a step with the other foot. The landing foot becomes the new pivot point, only angular momentum about this new point is conserved. The remaining momentum is sufficient to vault the pendulum over and continue the walking cycle. What we did was take two of these rimless wheels and connect them with a spring and damper to get the dynamically coupled rimless wheels model. Each one still triggers its hybrid reset independently, but the mass centers influence each other through the dynamic coupling. Including the dynamic coupler gives us three nonlinear state-determined dynamic equations of motion, which can be simulated using an ODE solver. If the spring and damper parameters are chosen correctly, the wheels speed up and eventually synchronize to the desired phase difference. We can see a trend here when the front wheel takes each step. The rear wheel angle, theta 2, converges to zero. Using guidelines from our paper, we can select for physically realizable coupler components. So if we rerun the previous simulation with these values based on hardware components, we find that it converges within 20 seconds. This simulation forms the basis of our physical model. A physical, coupled pair of rimless wheels was fabricated to achieve a human-like step length of 15 degrees and a leg length of almost 1 meter, just like the simulation. The wheels were sent down a gentle slope with an initial out-of-phase condition. By tracking phi, the difference between theta 1 and theta 2, convergence can be observed in under 10 steps. The physical system converges faster than the simulation, which we hypothesize is because of unmodeled elastic impacts. The same convergence can also be seen in the second experimental trial with different initial conditions. This passive method of gate synchronization combined with a well-designed control system shows promise as a means of enabling the human XRL system to achieve stable locomotion. And with that, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.